Well, women don't really need men like that. Meaning she doesn't need a husband to survive. That's what I mean. Is it harder today for men and women alike, but especially men, to get married? And I say especially men because it's the women doing the rejecting. It's the women, tu women turning the men away. And I do believe that in this day and age, particularly if you live in the civilized, civilized West, meaning you live in relative comfort, I do believe it's harder to find a wife today. As a man, it's harder to find a wife for the average man. Why? There's a number of reasons. And I'm going to be referring to my notes here. And I'm not going to just put this all on the women. I'm going to try and be as fair as possible with my uh, reasoning as to why men are generally finding it more difficult to marry women. And the first reason is this. <clears throat> men, wholesale, across the board, if you have been raised in the West, you've been through the Western education system, men, generally speaking, are less attractive to women than what they were before. Why? Well, to quote the, some lady, I forgot, Jordan, forgot, I forget her name, Jordan Peterson interviewed her. She's a lesbian, but you know what? She was spitting some facts here. And um, she was saying that men today, boys today, are raised to be defective girls. Those were her words. Boy, and, and bearing in mind, she's part of the alphabet community. And even she had the presence of mind to acknowledge, because she's a, an academic herself, she had the presence of mind to acknowledge that young boys today are raised to be defective girls. Meaning what? Well, the female way of communicating, of emoting, of being, of playing, of doing, is the correct way of emoting, being, doing, playing, etc. So when boys show any type of masculinity in schools, which are run predominantly by women, they are put in the naughty corner or they are told to quieten down or they are given drugs in some cases, diagnosed with ADHD and the like. So young men today have been raised in the school system as defective girls. And we are seeing this most prominently amongst millennials and Gen Z, my generation and the generation beneath me. Millennials and Gen Z are most uh, openly displaying these very unattractive qualities. I'm talking about the men. Because we've been raised in a school system which taught us to emote and behave as a defective girl, to not allow and to harness the natural masculine aspects of our personalities that all young men have. So now we're neither manly nor womanly, we're this weird Frankenstein creation in between which is neither attractive to neither. It's like we're just stuck in the middle. And I speak in broad terms, of course. So the thing is, as much as women think that this is how they want men to be, when those men inevitably grow up and then go out into the, into the world to try and get married, or if you're non-Muslim, to get a girlfriend, or whatever the case may be, they end up not being able to attract the type of women that they want to. Because women, generally speaking, are finding them wholly unattractive and you see you have this nasty perpetuating cycle or circle of men being raised young boys being raised as, def as defective girls told this is what women want and then they go out into the world try to get married and women tell them oh no we don't want you that's reason number one as to why i believe that it is harder to find a wife today than before and if you are just joining the stream please hit the like <clears throat> reason number two is that and in fact, reason number two ties in with reason number three. Women have been told in the West that they don't need a man. They don't need a man. I don't need no man. I'm a boss babe. I don't need no man. I'm strong and independent and all the rest of it. And you know what? They have a point. They actually have a point. In this day and age right now in the West, if you live in a developed country, it doesn't even have to be the West. If you live in a developed country, women truly don't need men. Why? Because men have, and shout out to Kevin Samuels, have civilized the planet 
to the point where life is so relatively easy, relatively easy in comparison to what it was before, that women genuinely don't need a man to survive. This is the truth. They don't actually need a man to survive anymore as they once did. Of course, they rely on the goodwill of men to, you know, keep things in place. The men's in the sewers and the rod, the bin men and the electricians and the builders to continue doing their job. But so long as those guys continue doing their job, well, women don't really need men like that. Meaning she doesn't need a husband to survive. That's what I mean. She can survive just fine without one. And when I say just fine, I mean she won't die. Because previously, a woman got married out of necessity. All of these extra things, he's got to have this, that and the third, six figures, six foot and I don't know, whatever else. That was like a distant fantasy. If he has that, mashallah, so much the better. If he doesn't, no problem. I need a husband anyways. Why? Because survival was at the forefront of their mind. Survival. I need a man to take care of me. Now that that has been taken care of, one of the weird side effects of living in a civilized, developed society is that women don't actually need men like that anymore. Meaning she doesn't need a husband. What's the side effect of that? Where am I going? What's my point? The side effect is that women now have the luxury, and it's actually a curse, but they have the luxury of being fussier, of raising the bar, of saying, I would rather die single than settle for that guy. I'd rather die single than settle. This is the mindset, this is the mentality, this is what's going on through their mind. Because they can afford to do that right now. And women, generally speaking, across the board, would rather die single, alone and miserable and single, than settle in her mind with a man whom she believes is punching well below her weight. She thinks she can do better. She'd rather, she'd rather just be single. Why? I'll explain to you why. Which brings me on to my fourth reason. Women need men. They need men for survival. And this is not a contradiction to what I said earlier. They still need all of those guys, bin men, electricians, and all the rest of it, to keep doing their jobs, to keep the thing, the, to keep the cycle going, to keep the cog moving. But they need those men to do that. So long as those men do that, she doesn't necessarily need a husband to survive. But women, generally speaking, broadly speaking, need men to survive. If you don't believe me, look outside the window right now. Look at the cars, look at the, the, the street, look at the pavement, look at the restaurant, look at the lights, look at the scaffolding, look at the buildings. Name me one of those things that was created by a woman, that is maintained and sustained by a woman. Just one, billahi, one. This bloody platform I'm communicating on with you right now, who made it? Who made it? A man. Okay, that man sold it to who? Another man, two men to be uh, precise, Google. Do you understand? So these day-to-day -day things that we take for granted have been made and are maintained by men. But a woman doesn't necessarily need a man to survive anymore. So women need men, but men want women. A man doesn't need a woman to reach the end of his natural life. Don't get it twisted with perpetuating the species. Yes, we both need each other to perpetuate the species. But a man doesn't need a woman to live to the end of his natural life. Of course, life is much better with women. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying, if you want to be particular, because men are the ones who are maintaining all of this stuff. Like, men will get by just fine towards to, to live to the end of their natural lifetimes. But herein presents a problem. And I need you to pay very close attention because, and this is a, a fundamental rule in marketing, never sell the people what they need, sell them what they want. Why? Because people are more motivated, will take more vigorous action to get what they want than what they need. I'll prove it to you. You need to exercise 30 minutes a day, five times a week minimum. You need to drink two liters of water a day. You need to eat a minimum of 1500 calories a day you need on and on we can go multivitamins so on and so forth but you see the things that we need to do tend to be boring you need to eat your five a day fruit and veg how many of you do that i don't even do that but apparently we need to do that and i don't want to have an argument oh it's not true you don't need whatever you understand my point you need to do that but do you now let's talk about wants. You want to binge on Netflix. 
You want to eat loads of chocolate. You want to sleep in. You want to go to bed late. You want to splurge in town, in the mall. You want. Which one of those two are you more motivated by? Watching Netflix all night long, splurging in town, treating yourself, or drinking, eat, drinking two liters of water a day and eating your five a day. Which one are you more motivated by? A shout out to Yusuf Chowdhury. Shout out to you, Yahi, for the $10 super chat. You have a wife? Appreciate it, my man. Habibi, barakallahu fiqh. Which one are you more motivated by? You are more motivated by what you want, not what you need. And it's a core rule in marketing. Never sell the people what they need. Sell them what they want and package inside of it what they need. But sell them what they want. Because people don't buy what they need. They buy what they want. What's my point? And if you're just coming in, we've got 160 of you on here. Hit the like. My point is this. Women need men, but needs don't push people to take action like wants do. Men want women and are willing to pull hell on earth to get it because they really want to. He really wants to fulfill his sexual desire. That's the, that's the motivating force, by the way, at the forefront of his mind. Of course, we want the relationship and the, the sakina and all the rest of it. But the primary motivating force is he wants to be in halala with a woman. That sexual urge is stronger in a man than it is in a woman. A woman is less needy like that. She's willing to, you know what? If I got a die alone, I die alone. If I got a die alone, I die alone. Shout out, Habibi Kareem, my man. My man. I appreciate the support, guys. Habibi, that Jazakallah khair, Akhi Kareem, 1799 Super Chat. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Spank that podcast. I'm coming, Oak247. Thank you for the two pound Super Chat. I'm coming. So because men have civilized the planet to the point where women can stay single in the developed world without there being any major serious repercussions to their livelihood, to their well-being, women, generally speaking, are not happy but are willing, are willing to not marry a man, to not partner up with a man if it means that this man is below her level. Whereas before, back in the day, 100 years ago, women had to get married because it was a survival thing. It was a survival thing. But now, it's not a survival thing anymore. She can't get by without you, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Because in a broader sense, men have civilized the planet to the point where women don't necessarily need a man anymore. Any one man. She needs all of those other men to continue doing their jobs, which they will. But one man, no, she doesn't need him. It's like a bonus in her mind. And that's why I believe women are fussier today than they have ever been before, particularly in the developed world. Now, of course, uh, if you watch certain podcasts, like for example, Fresh and Fit, and you just consume that type of content, you will get a miscued representation of the expectations of women. I don't believe that's a fair and accurate represent representation of the women in Miami as a representation for the women across the world. Now, that's hypergamy on steroids. But, generally speaking, women do have a higher expectation of what a man should bring to the table today than they did before. Why? Because they can afford to be. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. It's actually a very bad thing. In the West right now, in America right now, do you know what the, uh, the what's the word I'm looking for? The average uh, births or the average children per household must be in order for a population to continue increasing. The average children per household needs to be at 2.4 in order for a population to continue increasing. The average number of children per household, household in America right now is 1.7. America is a dying population. It's a dying population. It's not like Japan. It's not as far progressed as Japan, but it is a dying population right now. Why? Because they're not having enough kids to continue the perpetuation of the species. Why? Because women are saying, well, you know what? If I can't have that top, t that top guy, that guy I believe I deserve, I'll just die alone, whatever. Because women are motivated by needs and needs don't push people as much as wants do. Wants make you go further than needs do. I want a Bugatti Veyron. I need two liters of water a day to survive. Which one is more motivating to you?